our show. That is powerful. That's phenomenal. That is powerful. My name is Calvin Logan. Welcome to the Logan Power Show. That is powerful. That's phenomenal. The Logan Power Show. Two, three. Live at the Purple Beauty Bar. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan. I am live here at the Purple Beauty Bar. I told you guys I would be live and in person. So I'm live and having a good time. We're enjoying ourselves. But first, we got a special guest with us. We have Dr. Susan Wilson in the building. How you doing, man? I'm fine. Hope you are. How's everything? Everything's going well, thank you. Well, I thank you so much for coming on to the show. And like I said, we really do appreciate you. How's everything? Everything that's going, business going well? Business is going extremely well, thank you. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, people that don't know about Dr. Susan Wilson, she has a great program, Glory to Glory College of Theology. I'm telling you right now, there's an opportunity of a lifetime. If you feel you have a call in your life, if you feel this is the opportunity that you need to have, trust me. This is the option you don't want to miss. So explain to me about this business you just started that you've been called to. When you first started? The uh, school actually started on August 25th. I had my first uh, meeting of interest, which surprisingly 25 people showed up. Okay. Out of the 25, 23 have now registered and are active students. Wow. I also have one student in Durham, North Carolina, and one here in Charleston, South Carolina. Wow, that's unbelievable. I can see people, I say, a vision. When you got a dream, write it down, make it plain, and roll with it. So like you see, she took that initiative, she wrote the vision down, what she wanted to do, make an impact in community. And remember, 25 people came out, 23 people signed up. That's a 90 percentile rate of ratio. That's phenomenal. So what do you plan to do with the Bible College? What is your future goals as, you know, pertails to at the end. What do you see yourself in the next three to five years? Next three to five years, I hope to have my first graduating class, which will actually be this coming June. Okay. Uh, those that have enrolled this semester will graduate in June with an associate in Biblical Studies. Okay. Uh, within the next five years, these very same students can have a doctorate degree if they continue the studies. Wow, that's unbelievable. That is phenomenal. So you see right now, this 2014, she started this vision. 2015, people have their social degree next year. Three to five years, doctor's degree, so they can make a big impact in community. So for yourself, are you a teacher of the word also? I'm also a teacher of the word currently. I'm pastoring a church in rural Clarendon County, okay. Pinewood, South Carolina. Uh, my husband and I have been there. We're embarking on our 21st year. 21st year, 21st year. And then we were just talking in dialogue, and you were telling me you've been married for 42 years. 42 wonderful years. Wow, that's amazing. I, like I said, for me, I'm only been married nine. I couldn't tell nobody. That's longer than my lifetime. But tell me, like, being married 42 years, like, for those audience of people that say, like, you know, hey, I'm thinking about getting married, or people that are in marriage for a couple of years, what's the advice you can give to those folks that's, looking to, that's in it and the people that are looking to do it? Well, for those that are looking to get married, I would advise you to pray. Okay. Pray, pray, and pray. And uh, don't get married until you hear from God. Okay. So for people that are trying, that are in your school and they're enrolling, how many classes do they have to take to actually get that associate's degree? You know? Actually, there are four classes. You have to take English 101. Okay. Um, and we have a three-volume book, which includes books of the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, they will also um, have to test out of those courses, of course. And then we have a journey through the Bible okay. course. And one of the most interesting things is that uh, they will have to write a thesis. And the thesis will be based upon 
uh, the founder, who is Dr. J, the late Dr. J. L. Cook, okay. um, who God gave the vision to okay. about a little more than ten years ago, okay. and the vision was to empower pastors and their leaders, and to find a way to prepare them to advance the kingdom. Okay. Dr. Cook recorded several of his messages, twelve of which each student is required to listen to and write a thirty-five hundred thesis, thirty-five hundred word thesis. Thirty-five hundred. Well, that's exactly what the students said, but I guarantee you, each of those students have spoken over 3,500 words since they've been in that class. Mm -hmm. Woo! Like I said, 3,500, at first I was like, man, that's a lot of words, 3,500 words, that's a lot of pages. But hey, I've been to college, I understand, you got to do what you got to do to make that initiative. If you've been called to something, it's going to take hard work, yes. you got you to gotta use, use wisdom, definitely. you know, don't overextend yourself. So definitely, you're going to come to the college, you got to get your work done. Okay, English one on one. You gotta know how to read. You gotta know how to write. You yeah. can't say I'm being called to something, and you. They say turn to Genesis one twenty two. You like I don't know what Genesis is, or I don't know what one and twenty two is. So those yes. type of things, you gotta know how to write. Yes. Know how to write your sermons. You gotta know type of do those type of things so that you be able to articulate yourself, get your message across, um, to make an impact. But the biggest thing that I want to know about when you talk about saying you got this vision, I want to do this Bible college. Do you feel that by you doing this, it's going to impact the community to another level, or it's a temporary thing, or things be a long-term situation for this college. Most definitely, our goal is to impact. It is a twenty over twenty years since I've had this vision, okay. and uh, for various reasons, it was put off. My husband and I started together working on our doctorate. I was twelve years okay. finishing my doctorate degree. Not continuously, but off and on. Okay. But um, the good thing is we finished. Okay. And we finished strong. My husband experienced some health challenges in the interim, but um, he is one of the students in the class at this time, which could be very challenging because he is definitely a teacher of the word. <laughs> but the, the goal is to empower others to impact okay. the community. And we do that through the studies, through the encouragement, through giving them opportunities to um, not just come to the college, but we will also get them out into the communities using that that they've learned in the college. Okay. So we definitely want to impact the community immediately. Three to five years would be wonderful, mm -hmm. but the word is needed immediately. Okay. And there are so many people that are waiting for those of us that are willing to prepare ourselves to come out there and to hit the ground running and give them the word. Okay. That's phenomenal, phenomenal. Now your husband see is taking courses with at your school now. Yes. Is he one of your students? Are you teaching him? He, I am, I am, and that <laughs> has been the most challenging thing because he's a very smart man. Oh, I see, 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 Mr. Yeah. Wilson, she's putting you on putting you on the chopping block right now. She's talking about you're a, a tough student, but hey, I know you're gonna ace the class when you get your your uh, degrees and everything, you're like, well, hey. I got my now I can hold a conversation. I'm going to teach the class. But that's phenomenal. You're actually teaching your husband in the classroom with other students. And when you tell Mr. Wilson, sit down, he look at you. Okay, I'm going to get you when we talk at home. We're going to have a conversation about that. Well, I actually ask him to sit before we leave home. Okay. So that I don't have to ask him in front of the class. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yes, but he, he's actually been such a support. He has pushed me, pushed me, pushed me. And... Um, Interestingly enough, the last, I, I actually just got my doctorate in June, okay. 2014. He pushed me every step of the way. Okay. There were times when I was just tired and he said, you don't need to be doing nothing. Get, you need to study. Get your books. And so I, I must say he's been my greatest supporter. And, um, and I'm going to support him in the class, but he'll have to earn his grade. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Mr. Wilson is from Charleston, South Carolina. He is from right around the corner where we're filming. Okay. Comstock and Cosmopolitan. Okay. And I actually met him at my dad's church, which at that time was just a couple of blocks from where we are. Okay. And, but Mr. Wilson is a very honest person who does not want anything given to him. Gotcha. So he will study and he will do what's right. And um, that has been just one of the things that I like about him. So for those out there, hey, the information's on the screen, how to contact Dr. Wilson, I recommend you guys take that initiative. You feel that you have a call in your life, or you want to know more about the Bible, you want to have the, yes. that type of information, the understanding, then hey, sign up. I feel it'll be a great opportunity. 
The information is right on the screen. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. But before we go, hey, I really do appreciate you coming on to the show. I really want to definitely help you and the college get to the next level. So if anything we can do, we're here for you, the Logan Power Show. I certainly appreciate that. All those that are watching, follow us again. Contact us at the Logan Power Show at gmail.com. The information on the screen, our Facebook, our Twitter handle. We're having a blast here at the Purple Beauty Thank Bar. You. My name is Calvin Logan. You guys have a great week. Are you on three? Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Live, Live at, at the, the Purple, Purple Beauty, Beauty Bar. Bar. Lyman Pacific Chiropractic Clinic. We're licensed chiropractors in the state of South Carolina. Give us a call today. Our number is 843-771-4286. We're located at 606 Old Trolley Road, Suite 102 in Somerville, South Carolina. We specialize in motor vehicle accidents, wellness care, sports injuries, headaches, back pain, and more. Hey, I'm Dr. Taylor, Lyman Specific Chiropractic. Here we realign spines with the divine and make people feel fine. Give us a call today for a free consultation to discuss some of your health problems. Our number is 843-771-4286. Right next to the Yale Fashion on Old Trolley Road. Welcome everybody to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan. I got with me the owner, Mrs. Talia Shaheen, right here with me. Thank you so much. All right. And I got one of her best stylists, artists, Mrs. Elise Grant. Thank Thank you so much. And the number one skincare out here.